What we're doing here is explaining how to create variants for product. So possibly in the past you've had a shelving rack in 12 different lengths and widths and what you want to do is rather than having those as separate products that people have to scroll all the way through, collapse them down into one product with lots of different choices so people can open up the shelving product and go, well, I want this width and this length. What we're going to do here is first of all create a new product. So we've gone into products and then add product. And I'm going to call this a kayak just so it's easy to find. One, two, and three meter length and 20 centimeter, 40 centimeter, and 60 centimeter widths. It's good to put detail in the title just for Google and also so that customers can see before they click into it what's available. Um, rather than going, oh, because people hate clicking into a product if they don't know what they're going to get. Okay, let's give it an image. And a price. Now, the settings that you give it here will be initially used for all variants, so try and get them as accurate as possible. on it. Okay, now that we've got that far, we can say add variant. And this product has a length. And we'll say it's available in one meter, comma, two meter, comma, and three meter length. And it's also got a width choice. They say it's equal in 20 centimeter, 40 centimeter, 60 centimeter. Now, if we say, and what you can see there it's done is it's created 1 meter times 20, 40, and 60, 2 meters times 20, 40, and 60, and 3 meters times 20, 40, and 60. So it's created nine different options. If you had 2 and 4, it would have created eight different options. It just assumes you've got everything, every combination of everything. If you don't, you can go through and delete the ones that don't exist. Can you see it's also added a sequential number to your SKU? You may need to change those if you have different numbers. You can also change the prices and update the inventory. We'll save our product. And if, you, if we view it, You'll see we've now got choices on that product in the different lengths and in the different widths. And you can add that to cart. So that's how you create a product with different variants. If you need to go and edit more information about them, you can. You can change things like the shipping policy or the inventory policy by using these edit buttons here. Um, and that's really all you need to know about creating a product with variants.